This product was sent to me by the manufacturer free of charge in exchange for a fair and honest review. This is not a compensated endorsement and the review is my own. Thank you. Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe, and today we have the Basius 30,000 milliamp power bank sent over by Basius for us to take a look at. And uh, this guy, of course, is a monster, 30,000 milliamps. And of course, it's got the Basius good name attached to it as well. We have a USB-C cable included, and of course, the brick itself. You do not get a charger with this, so you'll have to have something along that nature of your own. But it's attractive. It's you know, it's rectangular in shape. We've got four USB-A ports for output, and we have three different types of input, including USB-C, micro USB, and Thunderbolt. All right, so let's compare it to the Anchor 737. You can see here that it's about the same size, only stretched out, more rectangular than square. Here's the uh, world-famous Insignia power bank that we all bought from Best Buy when it was on sale. Now, we can go ahead and charge the bank with any sort of power delivery 3.0 device that you have laying around. And here we see that it's now at 39% and it is charging. Now the button on the side will let you toggle between uh, amps and volts. And of course, if you multiply those together, you get the wattage. Unfortunately, this does not show you the wattage, which to me is a downside. I wanna know what the wattage is. All right, we have here, of course, the Basius popular 20,000 milliamp battery, very popular amongst the Steam Deck community. And you can see that it is comparable and obviously made by the same folks. Of course, it's a little heavier there, but you know, listen, it is uh, spot on. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Steam Deck and we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna take a voltmeter here, if you will, and check out the voltage going in. So we plug in the Steam Deck and you can see under nice heavy load that the Basius is delivering almost 38 watts of power. Now we're gonna plug in the actual Steam Deck power adapter and let's see if we get close here. All right, we have to wait for this to go under load again. And here we go. So it's a little bit higher, 38.12 versus 37.8, but it's almost negligible. It's within, you know, one watt of power. So I think we're okay there. And of course, uh, this amount of output will definitely charge while you play. Now, for those of you who've tuned in to see how the uh, venerable Asus Ally compares here, does it give us the 30 watt turbo? Let's check our power input, looks pretty good. And look at that, 30 watt turbo. Now I went through extensive testing with the Basius 30,000 milliamp battery testing it directly on the Steam Deck to try to figure out exactly how much power you can expect this to provide on a trip. So with my testing, I show that it takes just under two hours to take a Steam Deck from dead, turned off and dead, all the way back up to 100%. So that's just under two hours for a full charge. Now you can expect to get uh, 2.5 charges total from this device as you're using it. So you can charge it from dead to full about 2.5 times, which is actually very, very good. All right, so next up is parallel play. How much more time can you get on a heavy lift game if you're at 100% on the Steam Deck and 100% on the battery? Well, I actually did the complete test from 100 down to zero to get you this data. So we start here at, at 1.45 p.m. with the 100%, 100%. We're gonna check in periodically as this game runs. Now I like Next Machina because it goes from heavy, heavy load to no load back and forth to sort of simulate high drain and low drain areas of a game. Plus, I don't have to sit and babysit it. You see at 2.24, we're at 86%. 86% of the battery is gone. Now, of course, we're drawing all from the battery at this point. And moving ahead to 80%, we now see that we're at 2.41 a.m. So we've got almost an hour out of that. All right, now it's time to check in, and we are at 70%. At 70%, we are at 3.07 p.m. 
Finally, we check in here at 48%. 48%, it is now 4.08 p.m. And the battery is still holding strong and the deck is still holding its own. All right, the battery is completely dead. We made it to 6.20 p.m. 6.20 p.m., which is not quite five hours, but just underneath a pretty good performance. So what do I think? I think this is a quality product from a company at Trust at a price that's much lower than the Anchor 737, but at the same time, it is missing a couple of features such as the smart screen and being able to output the wattage for you. Overall though, it produces a considerable amount of extra parallel playtime, excellent charging, plenty of ports. I would say that if you're interested in a good quality battery at a very low price, under $80, then this might be just the one for you. Listen, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Thanks so much for watching. This is Shane Armonroe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.